What's up, guys? I've, uh, <laughs> I swear I've passed, like, five potential campsites just to look for the holy grail of campsites. <laughs> Does anybody else besides me do that? Um, so it's almost 6.30, and the daylight is growing very thin out here. Um, probably got another, I don't know, maybe 20-ish minutes of just ambient light, but it's pretty much gone. I've got a, uh, a brand new tent that I've been dying to test, and I want to take it on some trips coming up, but I don't want to, you know, bank on it working great until I've tested it. I'm going to get my tent set up, slam my stuff inside of it, uh, kind of chill out until it's time to cook uh, my dinner, and... Um, just gonna enjoy a nice night out. It's been beautiful weather here for mid-March. All right, enough jib-jab, let's get at it. It's about to get wild. I've got you, the camera, in the vestibule area right now. This is a tunnel tent, and it's getting really dark outside, so I'll have to give you the kind of grand tour in the daytime tomorrow morning. But uh, here's the in inner tent right here. I want to show you this. And I need to go ahead and move in. Look at that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Tons of space, tons of space, I am in love with this tent, love with this tent. The vestibule area here, which you know you can't really see right now, but um, it also folds up so that you can uh, have a little cover but a full view. Uh, you can leave it down, and that way if it were rainy, you could keep your gear in here. Or if you had a dog, you could have the dog sleep in there. Um, you could cook under the vestibule area where you wouldn't want to cook back here. Um, so, I'm thrilled. Now, the tent was a pretty penny, um, but, and, you know, but I saved. And, um, I mean, look, I'm a teacher. I'm an educator, a public school teacher. I do not wallow in money. I don't think I ever have and I probably never will. But, um, you know, like probably most of you is just, I, I save. I save for, for things like trips with my kids and vacation and, you know, splurging on, on expenditures every once in a while. And this is something that I really wanted. This is kind of a, this is a four season tent. Um, and so I really wanted something, especially for camping in the winter, because if anybody's ever camped in the winter, you know how difficult this is. It gets dark really quickly. Um, so, you know, unless you have a campfire, you're hiding out in your tent for a long time. It gets cold because you're sitting still. Um, and I just wanted, I wanted a spacious tent that I could actually, like, live in. And this thing, man, this thing has got it. Let me get my uh, mattress in here. Oh, yes, sir. I did bring my 40 degree bag, even though it's only gonna drop down to like 50 degrees, but I decided to go ahead and bring the 40. Um, 
that way I just wouldn't have to bring a lot of extra clothing. I, I mean, I do have a lighter sleeping bag than this, but I felt like I might have had to have, I don't know, added a little more clothing. and I just didn't want to carry all that extra weight, so I, you know, I don't know. I traded weight in clothing for weight in the sleeping bag. I'm not super hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and whip up some dinner. Um, I was planning to bring some baby red potatoes, slice those up, season them, and fry them. And I brought everything to do that except for the potatoes. <laughs> so that's off the menu. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, But I did also plan to bring, and remembered to bring, a hamburger. So I brought some ground beef that I put into a patty, seasoned. I'm going to salt it, and I'm just going to fry it in a pan using a gas, a uh, little gas, you know, propane grill thing. Uh, so nothing too fancy. Should be good either way. Would have been better with some potatoes, but that's okay. I'll take it. No uh, ketchup, mustard, <laughs> just onions and burger. I did put a little salt on it, so it's a pretty thick burger. Wanted to make sure it got all done. Probably overcooked it a bit, but that's okay. Better safe than sorry. Let's see how this is. Oh yeah. It turned out great. I actually don't think it's overdone. I mean, the outside got a little crispy, but the inside looks great. Mmm. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It's always a great feeling when you set your tent up, you put your stuff in, and then you fix yourself food. Like, it, it, I, I know that's a simple thing. A simple set of things, but just doing those things, man, it just makes you know that you're going to be okay. You know, if there's any hesitancy or fear about being outside or being on your own or camping or, you know, you've got shelter and you've got food. And I've got water with me, so, I mean, I'm comfortable. It's just a nice calm, relaxed feeling that comes over you when you can meet those three needs. Alright, I'm going to sit here and finish my food. About 9.30, still kind of early, but, you know, I think I'm done with everything. Oh, by the way, let me show you what I'm reading. A Wilderness Survival Guide, Practical Skills for the Outdoor Adventurer by Jason Martsteiner. And uh, I'm not quite halfway through with it, but um, I would say about a fourth of the way through it. And so far, 
really good book, really thorough, really practical, really just straightforward, you know, like no frills, just kind of tells it like it is, so, um, yeah, it's on Amazon, I would encourage you to uh, check it out if you're interested, I don't know if Jason is on YouTube or not, or watches YouTube, but if you are, nice work here, buddy, all right, that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to read and then pass out. So I will see you all first thing in the morning. Good night. Um, probably one of the best sleeps that I've had camping um, other than my back just kind of, you know I don't know, I'm getting old, my back kind of gives out on me after a while if I lay in one position for too long, but that was really a comfortable sleep, I only woke up one time what a nice morning there's a little chill in the air, but not bad at all probably go ahead and start packing up, um yeah, I really just wanted to come out to test this tent, so, um, and it's passed so far with flying colors. But, yeah, before I pack it up, I'll show you the little vestibule area. So, yeah, what you can do now is you can really roll this back for maximum ventilation. You still have some cover, but you could also, you know, not only have maximum ventilation, but a really great view. All right, friends. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, it's a super nice day out here. Um, the lake is beautiful. The weather's great. Uh, some paddlers have already started coming by, and I'm going to head on back to the car, probably swing in at Bojangles on the way home and grab a great biscuit and uh, something to drink for breakfast. Um, I really appreciate you being with me on this little trip. Um, you know, it wasn't a super flashy outing, right? I'm not uh, saving the world of bushcraft out here or anything, and that's okay. Like, I, I think it's important for me to know, and it's important, I think, for me to, to share with you all that not every trip has to be like that. Not every trip has to be you know, 20 plus miles in a canoe or hiking or, you know, roughing it, you know, it's, sometimes it's nice, especially in today's crazy climate, just to come out and like get away for a night. And that's all I did. I cooked one meal, I slept, woke up and hiked back out and I'm better for it. I can promise you that. So yeah, weekend warriors mount up, right? <laughs> all right, gang. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Thanks.